Well, people are going to be running wild in the streets of Denver next weekend to try and save endangered animals in Africa. The statistics on this are stunning. Only three northern white rhinos are left on the planet. 32,000 elephants are killed every year, mostly for their ivory. So an effort started to raise money in Denver to try and battle back. And one of the people behind that is here this morning. This is Dr. Janet Rumfeld. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. Great to see you. And this is a really interesting effort. I know it interests a lot of people. Uh, Dr. Rumfeld's a professor of liberal arts at Regis University. She focuses on environmental humanities as well as philosophy and ethics and religion as well. And right. a whole bunch of things your hands are in. But this really right. stirred your passions. Yeah. I understand when you visited Africa, things started. Explain that story to me. Well, it wasn't really a visit to Africa that started it. It was actually some... Uh, news stories that were coming up in my in my feed huh. and I started researching deeper because I am an academic and an animal lover mm -hmm. and as I researched the information I found out that um, the problem wasn't just limited to elephants that actually lions rhinos cheetahs all of these kind of iconic and charismatic species were in d steep population declines mm -hmm. and that made me want to do something about that you're dealing with a lot of governments I, in Africa that don't have a huge amount of resources that's right vast areas yes. that have to be patrolled from poachers and there is a, a money motivation you have to take that money motivation away from poaching to eliminate it don't you uh, I think that's part of the issue. The, the, the beneficiaries that we work with in our race are beneficiaries who are on the ground. In one case, Wildlife Protection Solutions, who's located here in Denver. They actually use very sophisticated technology. They place cameras in the field, and those cameras can monitor vast areas, and they can send threat assessment signals to people, sometimes uh, who are in Denver, and then they can scramble rangers. So that's part of the issue that, that we're dealing with. So technology's helped. Technology's really helped a lot, it yes. Doing it. So people want to get involved in your run, and I want to be able to tell them about yes. that. You started it in 2014. We did. You run it again next Saturday. Tell us that's about right. it. That's right. So our run is at Regis University's campus, and it's a really fun day. We have a lot of activities planned. We have a 5K run. We have a one-mile fun run. Uh, people of all ages come. Our youngest runner last year was four. Our oldest runner was 70. Uh, <laughs> and so we have a lot of people who turn out. It's a fun day. We have a lot of activities. We have two new activities. Um, Run with a zookeeper. Local children's book author and zookeeper Dave Johnson mm -hmm. is going to be there. And kids five through eight, or five through, excuse me, K through eight can run with him. And if they beat his time, he will actually pay $50 to uh -huh. each of our race beneficiaries. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and I we also it. have an event called Passport to Africa for the kids. And they go around to the different booths and they get their, they ask questions about African wildlife. They get mm -hmm. their passport stamped. So they learn about African wildlife wildlife and they earn a prize. All right. That is awesome. Dr. Rumfeld, thank you very much. Thank you. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Is that run. It's at the Regis campus, the race a week from tomorrow, the 23rd, Regis University Northwest Campus. That's near Lowland Fifth. Now, there is a link to that race in our article about running wild online at cbsdenver.com. Great to see you. Yeah, thank you for having me.